Shalom. So Russia, Ukraine, what's happening? Russia claims Solidar victory. Kiev denies it. Bakhmut shelled 200 times and World War III has started apparently. The Russian Defense Ministry claimed its forces have captured the fiercely contested town of Solidar in the Donetsk Oblast region. Uh, however, Ukrainian military has refuted the claim, saying battles are continuing in the salt mining town. Russia claims more than 700 Ukrainian troops killed in Solidar over the past three days. Ukraine's military claims Russia shelled the Bakhmut area over 200 times in 24 hours. And meanwhile, Ukrainian defense minister said that Kiev has become a de facto member of the NATO alliance. This is a very dangerous statement to make. Because Putin clearly said from the get-go, the minute they become NATO, this becomes a NATO war. And he's got no problem with that. He's just going to up the ante. NATO will send surveillance aircraft to Romania to bolster the eastern flank and monitor Russian military activity. A Putin ally said that World War III has already started and has urged Russia to launch a nuclear strike on Britain, France, and Poland. Now I get the Britain thing because they've caught them up many times being involved in Ukraine. I get the Poland thing. It's a quick win right there. France, France, Macron, our potential AC candidate has said multiple times, including in the last week again, that even if Russia uses nukes in Ukraine or elsewhere, he will not use nukes on Russia. He refuses. So that in itself should put you in the safe zone, I suppose, but no. No, they're still on the list, so it shows you it's not a it's not a proper normal sane thinking process that goes into this whole thing of war. There's a bigger game at play, and yeah, I think 2023 is going to see a lot more kickoff than people thought was going to. So we keep watching and we keep praying for all those caught up in all of this and for the safety of everybody, and for our Lord to come and collect us as soon as possible. Keep spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, the only door to eternal life. Shine your light in the darkness. God bless. Shalom.